property for multiplication we have discussed it in addition also right in the same way it is in multiplication also let us take an example for example such as minus 2 minus 3 and 4 plus 4 a minus 2 into minus 3 of whole bracket into minus or plus 4 equals to minus 2 into square bracket of minus 3 into plus 4 the result of this on that means the result on lhs side and the result on the rhs side will be equal that is we have to justify now that is minus 2 into minus 3 that is we have said minus into minus plus right therefore we can say that 2 3 is 6 and we have to give plus sign right that is plus 6 Now plus six into plus four equals to plus twenty-four, right? On LHS side we are getting plus twenty-four, and in the same same manner on right hand side minus three into plus four equals to minus twelve, and minus twelve into minus two equals to plus twenty-four. So we are getting the same that is on LHS side and RHS side. So we can conclude that a into b of into c equals to a into of b into c. That means we will be multiplying first the elements which are inside the bracket. Then we will be multiplying with the third element, right? So when we change the priority of multiplication of the elements in three integers, also the result what we are getting is same. So we can say that this property has associative property of multiplication. right and let us see the distributive property that is we will be seeing that let us take one example in under, in an in under in order to understand the distributive property let us see the distributive property right let us take an example in order to understand it now i am taking an example such as 16 10 and 2 right now 16 into of that is bracket 10 plus 2 Equals to 16 into 10 plus 16 into 2. That means here what I am doing is first I am adding the elements that is 10 plus 2 with which are in the bracket, right? That is 10 plus 2 equals to 12, and 12 into 16 the first element, right? Now what will be getting the easy way of multiplication we can see here that is 12, right? Uh, in order to multiply 16 into 12 it is very difficult, right? So we will be splitting it into two parts. That is, 12 we will be writing it as 10 plus 2, right? Now 16 into 10 equals to 160, right? And 16 twos are that is 6 twos are 12. Two ones are two plus one that is 32. 16 twos are 32. That is 160 plus 32 equals to 192, right? Therefore, in the same way when we do this on right hand side also, that is when 16 into 10, that is 160, and 16 twos are that is 36. It is equals to sorry, 16 twos are 32. That is equals to 192. That means we are getting the same answer on left hand side and right hand side. So we can justify this as true, and it is known as distributive property. It holds good for multiplication also. And let us see the statement of distributive property that is a into b plus c equals to a into b plus a into c. And this also can be written for negative integers such as let us take the third element plus c rather than plus c we will be taking minus c. So we will be getting that a into b minus c will be simply we will be splitting it into two parts that is a into b minus of a into c, right? This is the distributive property for multiplication. And now let us see the division of integers and their properties. Let us see the division of integers. That is, we have a statement here. That is, a divided of minus b equals to minus a divided by b. That means, I want to explain this statement with an example. That is, let us take two. That is positive integer plus two divided by negative integer. Suppose let us take we are dividing plus twelve with negative integer that is of minus two. Then we will be getting the resultant as 
in order to divide an integer first of all we have to take the whole number that means 12 divided with 2 that means we have to not we have we should not check the signs right we have to first divide as common or as normally how we will be dividing the numbers that is 12 divided by 2 that what will be getting 6 right now we have to check the signs of the numbers that means if at all any number of these two elements having the negative sign we will be getting the result or the quotient also as the negative result that is negative integer right so we will be giving the minus sign in front of because the denominator is holding as a negative integer that means it is having the negative sign hope you are clear with it and now let us see that is we are getting minus 6 when we are dividing plus 12 with minus 2 right and at the same time when we divide minus 12 by plus 2 we will be getting the result that is minus 6 that means LHS and RHS are holding the same here we can conclude that when a positive integer is divided by a negative integer or else when a negative integer is divided by a positive integer also leads to the resultant that is negative integer only and that is what here the first statement defines that is whenever the positive integer is divided by negative integer the quotient will be always negative and vice versa right and let us see another statement that is whenever the positive integer is divided by positive integer we will be obtaining the quotient that is positive only right let us take one example that is plus 3 sorry plus 15 divided by plus 3 we will be getting the answer that is plus 5 right and at the same time when we divide the negative integer with the negative integer only that means let us take one example that is minus 18 is divided by minus 3 let us take that then we will be getting that 3 ones are 3 6 are right minus minus cancel then we are getting the positive integer that means whenever the integers having the same sign are divided we will be getting the result that is positive integer and whenever the integers of having the opposite signs are divided we will be getting the negative sign integer only as the resultant or as the quotient right now this is the property holding regarding the division of integers right and let us see the important properties of division of integer that means you know that uh, commutative property does not hold for division of uh, whole numbers, right? Then, in the same way, commutative property does not hold good for integers also, right? That means, uh, for division property of integers, we cannot do the commutative property. That is because why I will show here. That is, a plus b equals to b plus a, that is additive property, right? In the same way, a divided by b equals to b divided by a is the distributive commutative property right sorry that is division commutative property right so let us take one example 3 divided by sorry let us take uh, 12 divided by 6 right and 6 divided by 12 is this 2 are same let us divide them that is 12 divided by 6 equals to 2 right and 6 divided by 12 is 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 so here we can say that LHS is not equals to RHS and therefore we can conclude that commutative property does not hold for division of integers or division of any whole numbers or natural numbers right and also we can say that the properties which are hold good for division of integers is a divided by 0 is it defined it is not at all defined and 0 divided by a is always 0 any element when we divide the 0 with any element we will be getting 0 obviously that is 0 divided by 3 0 right and let us take the condition what we have to see that is a is not equal to 0 because uh, in denominator if I keep at all 0 it is undefined right in the same manner that is a 0 divided by a equals to 0 right and a divided by 1 equals to a that means if any number is divided by 1 we will be getting the same number that is 3 divided by 1 equals to 3 and 2 divided by 1 equals to 2 and at the same time negative integers when we take minus 2 divided by 1 is of 1 is, is equals to minus 2 only right and these are the properties hold good by the division of integers right and now we in this chapter integers chapter we have seen that addition of integers sub, subtraction of integers
integers, multiplication of integers, division of integers, and the properties which are hold good by the addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division of integers, right?